My name is Stephen Barker. This is the story of the last three seconds of my life. Target is directly below us, moving south southeast. Target, still bearing southeast. Just pick it up. Pick it up down there. Pick it up yourself, motherfucker. to the other side. 300 yards. He said it back just like we thought. Helicopter, do you read me? He's on the bridge. Stay on your course, 20 yards! Let's go. He's double back. He's double back! Son 
of a bitch. Break it off, he's on to us. That's a negative. He got out one step ahead of the fireworks. He's back on the bridge. He's going to the complex. Let's go. We need more ground support. Repeat. Call out another team. Chopper, that's a negative. Chopper, that is a neg- Chopper, shut up. He gets away. No more mistake. Is that clear?
top secret lab at Zircon Corporation, a program called Exile, a system that separated a person's mind from their body. It was supposed to be a machine that could turn dreams into reality. You could live a lifetime in a few seconds. The Zircon turned it into a digital prison. Exile chair status. They used it on criminals, dissidents, spies, and sometimes people who just knew too much. A person's mind stored in a place called the Matrix. Their bodies terminated, their souls trapped in a virtual hell. Why should I care? I'm just a guy who built it. Can we renegotiate? It's too late for that now, isn't it? Matthew. Hmm? I'll see you in hell. Security. Don't worry about me. Just get me the exile program so we can get the hell out of here. Piece of cake.
hurt me, please? I didn't have anything to do with this. All right, nobody's going to hurt you. What happened? It's like the, the devil himself came to get his revenge. There's a electricity everywhere. Stay with him. survivor. Yes, sir. Damage control. He wants the situation contained. Am I clear? Crystal.
has weapon potential, no residual structural damage. I'll take care of it.
that's why I couldn't kill myself. system. I 
going to bring you back if you run into trouble. Do we have a window entry yet? Two, two, three, five. Good. We're sending you in as an operative called Jones, terminated three months ago. You will also be programmed to carry this. It's a protocol code sequence of an operational chair. Now the chair on the other side will need this in order for it to work. Shadow men will seek you out. Or they lose it. But it won't work without the other half of the code. Or the other half of the code. You are.
counsel against that Mr. Jones. Nasty fellows who I believe aren't worth the effort. Good shot. Thanks, bro. trinkets you got there. Mind if I check its authenticity? A bit nervous there, aren't you, friend? Just cautious. Can never be too. A unique looking program. We'd give you a fair price, wouldn't we, Bill? Absolutely. What would you consider a fair price? I think I'll get a better price if I go on the rack. Are you saying what middlemen? The shoe fits? I'm afraid that inference has upset my brother. Looks like we're gonna have to withdraw our offer. Sorry to hear that. I think you may have upset them. I'd be a bit cautious. business there, Mr. Jones. Even for a fellow that knows how to take a trimming. It's not something you practice. I quit. Me too. But in this place, what's the point? I'm going back. Of course you are, Mr. Jones. Aren't we all?
Bill and Ben. Well. And well, we got something you might be interested in. Yeah. Have a seat. That's okay. We're just gonna sit. Okay. What have you got? Oh, hmm. I underestimated you, Bill. We both found it. A joint effort. How nice. Pure protocol programming. Right from the other side. Nice. It's nice. <laughs> Open your mouth, Ben. Please, Tilda. Open your mouth, Ben. Ben sucks. Bill talks. Oh, come on, Tilda. I don't hear any sucking, Ben. Who's outside? No, no, I don't want to talk to you, Ben. I don't want to talk to you. I'm going to count to three, and then I'm going to blow Ben's brain, such as it is, through the top of his head. <laughs> I'll tell you anything. What? What? There was a tracker in that little disc you brought me. I swear I didn't know. I swear I didn't know. I swear I swear I didn't know. I don't hear any sucking, Ben. Two. We got it from the garden bar. We got it from the garden bar. We got it. We got it. Swear to God, his life. I never was right. I never was right. Okay. Three. <laughs> Did I scare you, Billy? And Ben, I like strong lips in a man. It's a character thing. Fun, huh? So tell me about this guy in this bar. You look familiar, Jones. What was it, business or pleasure? What's the matter, Jones? You look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> I think it's time you and I had a little social intercourse. What do you think? I'm just here for the property year two. Middleman stole from me. Now tell me about that tracker, Jones. You know you need a little trust in your life. Trust? You know I'm beginning to like you, Jones. Let's say we play a little game, hmm? Oh, you are a handful. But I could change that. Hmm? Now, I can be a very forceful woman. But you catch more flies with honey than vinegar. What are you doing here? I'm looking for somebody. Mm -hmm. They call him Shadow Man. 
talk about who's inside first. Oh, come on, Jones. You still don't trust me? Just set up the meeting with the Shadow Man. Well, he's got to agree to the deal first, right? Right. And I'll bet you don't have the disc on you either, do you? Of course not. Well, then what am I going to do? Take you in there and torture you? I guess we'll find out when I go through that door, then, won't I? That's what makes life so interesting.
chance. I'm disappointed. I figured you'd go at least 70-30. This is as far as I go. <laughs> Oh. 
movie of domestic bliss. I love this marvel woman who's just been fucked. Some fella. Where? Out there. Mr. Jones.
seems we could make a little trade now, huh, Jonesy? Better go. The code. It's worthless to you. She's why you're really here. Better go. The disc, Jones. Or, uh, is it Falcon? Come on. We're both here because of the same person. They fucked you. Just like me. Except you didn't even know it. You don't remember, do you? Remember what? It's over, Stephen. We don't owe them anything. Let's just leave. Julie, remember what? Don't you get it? You are never going back. You're dead, Stephen Falcon. Just like the rest of us. How do you know who I am? The disc. Thank you. 
He followed his program brilliantly. From launch to target, less than half a second. Could have lived a lifetime in half a second. But we never know. It's too bad we had to lose him. He would never have done it knowing. No. Warning.
program.